Washington. President Trump championed my journey, empowering me to be who I became today. His unwavering support not only shaped my career, but has inspired other young women with big dreams. President Trump loves this country. He does. And he lifts up those around him. To my children, Luke, Chloe, and Parker, he's the man with one heck of a golf swing that lets them ride in a golf cart with some of the world's most famous golfers so they feel included in mom's job. And by the way, he can kick some of those guys' butts. Ken. To my husband, whose family members have survived the Holocaust, he is a champion of the Jewish faith. To my Iraqi parents, he is a mentor to their daughter. But to me, he is my friend. Not too long ago, a supporter shouted, God bless you and President Trump in the middle of Manhattan after one of our trials. Little did that man know that I was on the phone with the president himself. And he immediately asked me to pause, give the man my phone, and spent time speaking to him and thanking him for his support. Despite the lawfare and the politics, President Trump loves the American people and he loves this country. For decades, the Trump Organization transformed skylines and created thousands of jobs. His buildings and businesses are a testament to his commitment to excellence and his drive to turn dreams into reality. But his greatest construction project was yet to come. The left has tried to demolish President Trump. But there is no bulldozer big enough or strong enough to remove the legacy that he has built or the future he is creating. As the 45th President of the United States, Donald Trump built a legacy of putting America first. And as the 47th president, he will build America stronger than ever for we, the people. As we stand on the brink of a new chapter in America's story, I am reminded of the country my family fled four decades ago, a place marked by religious persecution, oppression, and a lack of freedom. They came here because America is a beacon of liberty and opportunity. It is now our duty to protect the values that define us and keep this the greatest nation on earth. Amen. Amen. That's right. Every attack 
attack on President Trump only strengthens our movement. The left's madness is only a sign of desperation. Sham indictments and baseless allegations will not deter us. Because the only crime President Trump has committed is loving America. And America, we are winning. Outside of his family and our country, President Trump also has another love, music. A few years ago, he wanted me to hear a new song he had selected for an upcoming rally. I could hear it blaring in the background at Mar-a-Lago. He landed on a song called, Hold On, I'm Coming. America, we no longer have to hold on. We just have to show up. So if you're ready to end the Democrat destruction, and if you're eager to unleash the best America has to offer, then let's send Donald Trump and J.D. Vance to the White House in November. The future of America and the world is bright, and it begins with the unwavering spirit of each and every one of us. Because of the resilience and the leadership of my friend, President Donald J. Trump. So let us not forget that President Trump did not just take a bullet in Butler, Pennsylvania. He has and will continue to take them for each and every one of us. God bless President Trump. God bless you all. And God bless the United States of America.